So if you see, everything is beyond your understanding here. From a leaf to an atom to an a to an ant to an atom to a subatomic particle, everything is just beyond your understanding. Would it be not natural for you to bow down to everything that you see? You think you've got it, so now you have to trying to understand devotion. You cannot understand anything, but you can experience everything if you're willing and open. Devotion means you are an absolutely open doorway to life. A devotee, once you identify yourself with your intellect, immediately Devotion looks like a stupid thing. Of course, lot of devotees are stupid. To be in a state of devotion, to be in a state of devotion is uh, the most intelligent way to exist. But most thinking people will not agree with me because most of the time the so-called devotees look the most idiotic of all on this planet. One reason is people are only claim to be claiming to be devotees. They're not really devotees, they… they're a kind of brand. They are more of fan club. But uh, generally they pass off as devotees. Being a devotee is not about being a fan. A devotee is beyond reason. Devotee is in a field where there is no right and wrong, where there is no like and dislike. Devotion is that mechanism which easily gets you there. Devotion is not love. When? Love is like a flower. A flower is beautiful, it's fragrant, but it wilts with the weather. Devotion is like the root of the tree. Whatever may be happening, it is on. It's springtime, the tree is in full foliage, it is autumn, it's full of flower, it's winter, it's barren. Whatever may be happening, the root is on, all the time on doesn't deviate for a moment. Its purpose to nourish the tree doesn't diminish no matter what kind of changes happen on the surface. Oh, there is no leaf, why should I work? Oh, there is no flower, no fruit, why should I do anything? It is not that kind, it is simply on. If one can be on all the time, in wakefulness and asleep, simply on, for whatever reason, he is a devotee. Only a devotee can be on all the time. 
he might not have ever worshipped anything, but he is still a devotee. He might have arrived at it through meditation, through love, through worship, but he is a devotee because he is on, all the time on. If this doesn't come, then the journey becomes long. The journey unnecessarily becomes long. So devotion, how to practice devotion? There is no such thing. If you practice devotion, it's fake, it's no good. Only when you see something as larger than yourself, bigger than yourself, there is a possibility of devotion. If you're too full of yourself, there is no question of devotion. So, what do I have to do to bring devotion in me? <clears throat> Everything that you're in touch with, right now, you tell me, you're bigger or the air that you're breathing right now is bigger? Hmm? Don't give me hot air, okay? <laughs> Do you really think so? Now, you are going to sit there and eat your food, which is bigger, you or the food in your plate? You became big only because of the food that you ate, isn't <laughs> it? Yes, depending upon how much food you eat, that is how you're becoming bigger. You say, what nonsense, a heap of food in my plate, is that bigger? But three days if we don't give you food, fourth day, <laughs> devotion will come. You are bigger or the earth on which you are walking is bigger? Not bigger in size, which is more important, which is higher? Ha! Huh. That soil, in America we call it dirt. Tell me, you are bigger or dirt is bigger? Now, every moment of your life, whatever you are in touch with right now, whatever you behold, if you see that as higher than yourself, you will become a devotee. So, uh, if you want to become a devotee, at least once an hour, once an hour, in all the wakeful moments of your life, bow down to something, somebody, it doesn't matter who, don't choose. Whatever is in with you right now, right now if you see a tree, bow down to it. You see a mountain, bow down to it. You see somebody, bow down. A dog or a cat or an elephant or a cow. Elephant, you will definitely bow, but <laughs> anything, <laughs> anything that you see, you bow down. Once an hour, just do it through the day. See if it can become once a minute. After, once it becomes once a minute, you can't be using your hands and your body to bow down. You simply do it within yourself. Once be it becomes that's your way, then you're a devotee. A devotee does not mean you're a walkover. That which bends will never break. That which knows how to bend will not break. That is why in the morning you're doing the yoga so that your body doesn't break up. <laughs> Otherwise it'll break up, I'm telling you <laughs> Every day if you're bending it, it'll not break. If you don't know how to bend, it will break. That is so with everything within you. If you learn to bow, if you learn to hold everything higher than yourself, so, you learn to look up to everything, you will become devote. A devotee is not a brainless bimbo. 
a devotee is a different level of intelligence, which silly logical minds cannot understand. Because a devotee is… once you are like this, that you don't think much of yourself, then your perception is enlarged. He knows things that you cannot even imagine. He can grasp things that you have to struggle with for the rest of your life. Because that's the nature of devotion. That there is not much in much of you within yourself. When there is no self, you're ready for the super self. <laughs>